Okay, so this is the financing app we're gonna learn about in our calculator. So uh, this is what the app looks like on your screen. So I've just copied and pasted what it looks like. N is the number of payments in total. I is the interest. And do you remember that I told you I means the interest and R means the decimal form of the interest? Do you remember me telling you that? So I, if it's 3%, you write 3, not the decimal stuff. PV is principal value, a.k.a. should we say the start, right? What you start with. Payments, PMT of payments. Future value, right? So the end. How many payments per year you make? How many compounds per year you make? Okay. Okay. When you use this app, if it's money that's coming into your pocket, it's positive. If it's money that you're spending, it's <coughs> negative. Does that make sense? If it's money that you're receiving, that's a positive thing. And if it's money that you're spending, it's a negative. Okay, so you're gonna have to think about that during this. Okay, here we go. Number one, you invest $340 every month for seven years, compounded monthly interest rate. How much money are you gonna have at the end of seven years? N. Okay, so we're going to do this for seven years, but we're also going to do it every month for seven years. Does that make sense as an N? Every month for seven years. Okay? And your calculator will do this for you, so you can write that in. I, 2.75... How much money did you start with? Previous value, what are you starting with in your bank account? Zero. You don't have anything. Mo payments, so you're making $340 a month. Every month you're gonna put that in as a payment. Is that that's in your pocket or out of your pocket if you're making that payment? Out of your pocket. Out of your pocket. Okay, so every time, every month, you go to the bank and you give them $340. Can you put this in my account? Can you go put this in my account? Future value, we're trying to see. That's what we're trying to figure out, right? How many payments did you make per year? 12. Every month you were doing it, so that's 12. And how many compounds per year? It tells you. It gets compounded monthly. So also 12. Okay, here we go. You ready? Push the button, apps. Finance. Where's that? It's blue. Okay, finance, TMV solver. And do you recognize the screen? Okay, so fill in. Seven times 12 was enter. 2.75, enter, 0, enter, negative 340, enter, go down and push 12, enter. When you push this one, it automatically changes that one, okay? If they happen to not be the same, you got to make sure that you fix that, because it... Um, I just moved down over it. I couldn't. I can't. Okay, then can you push zero enter or something just to fill it in for now? Okay. No, just leave it right now. Okay, everybody's good? Like I have something in there from uh, before. That's good. Okay, ready? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push solve. Do you see how solve is on your enter button? What color is it? Green. So that means you're going to have to push alpha enter. You have to hover on future value and then do it. 
Yeah, like are you have are you on that line? And then you push alpha enter. Good? So you're gonna have $31,454.51. Does that make sense? That's what, you're, you're putting in a lot of money. So $340, $340, $340, right? Okay, number two. I'm going to read and let's fill in right away. You invest $50 every month. Okay, where are you going to put that info? Just 50 and every month. So payments are going to be negative 50 because that's out of your pocket every month. You're going to the bank and it's going out of your pocket. Payments per year is going to be 12. N is going to be 12 times every month, and then I'm going to keep reading, every month for 10 years. So 12 times 10. Okay, now I'm going to read. The investment gets compounded annually. So how many compounds per year? One, so that goes at the bottom. Interest rate, 3.35. How much interest did you earn? So I can't have two things not with anything. So what else do I know? I don't have any money in the bank at the start. I, this is the investment I start with. And we're going to figure out that. Okay. So apps, finance, solver. And make sure at the bottom it says 12 and 1 because it will, sometimes it changes automatically and then we forget. Okay, so then you're going to go to the future and you're going to push alpha enter so that it, you can solve. Okay, so this is how much money I have at the end, right? Rematching. Okay, but that's not the question. I want to know how much interest did I earn. Okay, so here's what we need to do. How much money have you put into this yourself? $50 every month for 10 years. So your money, $50 each month for 10 years. You did $50 every month for 10 years. It means you have put in $6,000 out of your pocket. But the bank account says this, so how much interest did I make? AKA, how much money has the bank contributed into my bank account? So what would I do with these numbers? Subtract means 1,096.93. Okay, does that make sense? You're always thinking about how much money have I put out of my pocket? Okay, that's a good question to ask yourself. Okay, number three. You invest 2,500 every year. Okay, go. 2,500 is your payment. How many payments are you doing within a year? One. And I'm doing this over 12 years. So now go to the end. I do it once a year for 12 years. Can you just do 12? Yeah. I'm just going to always keep saying this so that you always remember them. Once a year for 12 years. The investment gets compounded annually, 
So that's compounded annually. So that's a one. 2.8%. What's the return on your investment? Okay, so again, we didn't put any money in at the start. We're just starting with zero and then we're putting money in and putting money in. How much money do you have at the end? We matching thirty five thousand. Okay, so that's not my answer. This is how much money I have at the end. Okay. How much money have you put into this account just yourself? How much money have you done? So we did 2,500 once a year for 12 years. So this is kind of like your I don't want to call it your principal because it's not what we started with, but kind of the same idea. Okay, so I'm going to subtract that, which means out of that, the bank that's the bank, what they gave me then, right? Okay, so what's the return on your investment? Do you remember how to do that formula? The money you made divided by the money you put in. So how much money did you make? $5,079. Your interest is what you make. And how much money would you have had to cough up? And that would be the 30000 Okay, and then always times it by 100 to get out of your decimal. So a 16.9% return on your investment. All right, last one on this page. Okay, you invest $700, so payment. Whoops, payment is negative 700. And you do that every six months. So be careful here, read that again. You, you're gonna do that every six months. So how many times do you do it in a year? Twice. Got it, every six months. So let's say you do it in the summer, in December, right, or whatever. And you do it for eight years, so twice a year for eight years. The investment gets compounded quarterly, so that's compounds per year for And you end up with this interest. Okay, so that doesn't really help me. Okay, so let's talk about this. What did you, how much money of your will you put into this whole thing? Okay, so you're going to be putting in $700 twice a year for eight years, right? So 
So if you've put in this and you've earned this much interest, can I add that together? Would that make sense to you why I'd have to add it? And this would be my total or my final. What I've put in and how much interest I've made would be my whole bank account final number. And I started with nothing. And then what's the interest rate? So there's our question mark. Okay, did this make sense on the side, what I did? You're always thinking about how much money have I dumped into this thing altogether on my own. And then the bank always will have a portion because of the interest. You're earning that. Okay. So give me your apps, finance solver. Okay, alpha, enter, and I'm getting 3.15%. Are we matching 